Hey everyone, Tim Schofield here. And today was Apple's WWDC Worldwide Developer Conference where they unveiled a lot of new software that they're coming out with, including iOS 16 for iPhones. Now we're gonna take a closer look at this update. Uh, it is just in beta right now, but we will take a look at some of my favorite features that they came out with, including editing messages and undoing messages, along with a new notification system, which needed a revamp for a long time on iOS. You also can completely customize your lock screen and more, and a lot more Apple content coming soon, including content on that M2 chip in the new MacBook Air coming very soon. I'll get some videos going on that as well, so be sure to subscribe so you're notified when those go live. But let's get into it and take a look at the iOS 16 beta. Let's dive right into it. First of all, with the new notifications, check them out. You'll see they are down at the bottom now, not up at the top. It's completely revamped. Uh, I did notice that the time sensitive ones do get pushed above. So here we go with it unlocked. There it is. So that time sensitive one always stays on top of the other notifications. However, if I go ahead and tap, that's when it expands and you could go ahead and scroll up to the others. So as you can tell, a little bit different and they're down lower where your thumb can reach them much easier. We'll get to the custom lock screen in just a second. Swiping up reveals that home screen. We do go between pages. You'll notice the dots to let you know what page you're on. However, that's also a new button to bring up search. So Siri suggestions and search. You can still swipe down on the home screen. So I don't know uh, how beneficial that button actually is going to be when it does the same thing as just swiping down. Also, I know you guys are gonna ask, says SOS in the upper right hand corner because I do not have a SIM card installed, that's all. Okay, let's check out that lock screen very quickly. First of all, you can press and hold on it now and have different collections. Similar to if you have an Apple Watch, how uh, you can really just kind of swap through and swipe through. If we wanted to add a new one, here it is. Here's all of the different options, such as adding a new wallpaper, photo shuffle, emoji, weather, astronomy, color. If I wanted to do weather, I can do so. It will just kind of have a wallpaper. It looks like it's a moving wallpaper based on what that weather is. You can add specific widgets, multiple different ones, uh, even just you know smaller ones. If I wanted to do a clock, weather, and my activity right there, we can do so there and close out of it. Uh, you could customize what the font of the clock actually is and the coloring of the font with which with full control. As you can see, this is a little bit strange in my opinion. It's weird to be on an iPhone and able to like really fine tune any sort of customizations. Uh, it hasn't really been like that necessarily. Um, again, adding specific widgets and different options on the home screen. So if I had done and I wanted to swap over to that, it should be there. There it is. So there's the weather one. Uh, it just gives you an idea, I guess just a image of what the weather is like outside. And that's pretty accurate right now, at least in Chicago. Uh, if I wanted to go back here, let's go into the actual wallpapers themselves. Uh, and, and there's going to be bugs, as you can tell. So just kind of keep that in mind. Don't expect to put this on your main device. I would not recommend installing it simply because there will be bugs. Anyways, going into uh, display and or actually let's go into wallpaper real quick. Um, and just tapping on it. Here's a just a look at what I have done with mine. I can disable depth effects, enable perspective, zoom, uh, again, adding those emojis and more. Uh, I'm not exactly sure, there we go. So adding a new wallpaper, there's different collections. Uh, I said astronomy is one of them. So you do have just like an earth going on here. So that's pretty cool. Or moon, moon detail, solar system going into emoji. You can actually custom customize these emojis too. I believe you can just go through and, and pick certain emojis to have. Uh, let's actually do that. So let's go ahead and if I wanted the laughing emoji, that gets added. You can have up to six on this specific one. So again, a lot of customization options, including there's Unity, there's Pride. So a very welcome addition, especially from a lock screen that hasn't really changed all that much. So now you get a ton of different color options, fonts, uh, styles, and on top of that, just new notifications overall. Our next feature is called Live Updates, and it's not just when you're playing audio or media, it's maybe if you're expecting a delivery, waiting for a cab, an Uber, 
etc. You'll notice there it is. It will be at the bottom just above your notifications there, similar to one of those time sensitive ones where you can customize it, you can pause, play, you can act upon it. So that's really nice that they have that there. But again, if you have something maybe like sports scores that you want that's live right there, it will show up down there. So it's not just music. That was just the example so you can see what it looks like. Next up, let's go into messaging, and this is only applicable to iMessage. It's not If you send an SMS, you're not going to be able to take advantage of these features. First of all, I just sent this. You see I'm, I'm saying hi way too many times. I don't need to do so. And I noticed there's a timeout. So you'll see this bottom one gave me more options than this top one. So apparently it times out. I didn't actually realize that till I just tried it. So if I wanted to get rid of this hi because I already said it, I can undo send. But there is a timeout. Uh, you unsent a message there. Tim, Tim may still be able to see your message on devices running older versions of iOS. So people on older versions might still be able to see it. Now, what if I wanted to say something else? I can edit messages now. So, so, so instead of hi, I'll say yo and hit check. And there we go. But it does show up as edited. So it lets you know, yes, this message did get edited. Uh, that way you can't really just like change things on the fly without them knowing. Also, when you're in your messaging list, if you swipe over and press this icon, it will actually mark it as unread. See that notification dot right there? Um, I actually thought that it would show up. Let's see if I do this again and go back home. Maybe it's just a bug. I would think it would have a, you know, a little one next to it because it is technically an unread message. So not 100%, maybe because I don't have any actual messages from the other side of this texting thread, but uh, you get the point. You can mark messages as unread, similar to that of an email. There's enhanced dictation when using text to speech. So let's test it out and notice my pausing when I go to type and then talking again. Thank you for subscribing. I appreciate it. Are you free later to go to dinner? Done. Perfect. That was pretty neat. Actually, it, it put punctuation where it needed to. It tried to put a period after I said, are you free later? But then I added to go to dinner and then it added a question mark at the end. Uh, really neat. Uh, it seems to be working well right now, but you'll notice I could text in the middle of it and continue to talk. So I didn't have to keep pressing the actual button. Another feature within photos, there's a couple now. So this is a, an image, but here's a video that I took earlier with specifically text on it so while you can pause it and I believe there we go you can actually now uh, pull text out of it whether it's a phone number you, you'll see this branding it's trying to pull the text I don't know why my camera's not focusing sorry about that guys but there you go I can now copy look up all that good stuff within a video so I paused the video and I was able to do that now another one I know they demonstrated this with a puppy a dog uh, an animal something like that but I just took a picture of a book to show that it does work with other types of objects it, it seems like it's as long as it's separate. So what we can do here is actually let me load up messaging. There we go. Um, and I'm going to go like this and you'll see I'm going to I think just press and hold on it. Uh, it's 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 taking the, the text here. I'm going to try and not press and hold on text. There we go. Um, I think it had it. But what I'm going to do is write that animation pull. There we go. Sorry. Still getting getting the hang of all these animations and such, but while I'm holding it with my right thumb here, you'll see that little book just floating in the air. Swipe on over in the messaging. I can drag and drop, and now there we go. There, it just pulled just the book out of it. Pretty sweet, actually. That's a really neat feature. Doesn't have the full picture or anything like that for whatever reason you need to do that. Anyways, there's more to iOS 16 and a lot more coming soon. Again, keep in mind this is just in beta, uh, so there may be more features coming soon as well. I'll keep you updated probably on social media as the updates come in. But drop a comment. Let me know what you think about these new features, what you think about iOS 16 in general. I'm very excited for it. Apple has done a good job adding useful features. There's also more. I will link to uh, just more options and more things to check out about iOS 16 if you're interested, including a new CarPlay that they update that they're coming out with as well. But anyways, be sure to subscribe. Be sure to give this video a thumbs up. And as always, thanks for watching.